So, welcome back my friends to a nostalgic look through the British musical press. This time we're going to the New Musical Express and this is from March the 11th, 1972. So let's have a look and see what's in the paper in this week back in 1972, so 52 years ago. So first of all, let's have a, go and have a look at the, uh, the singles. There we are, Without You at number one. That was also number one in the US, as you'll see in a minute. American Pie, Son of My Father. I mean, when you look at the charts here, Bad Finger, Sweet were starting to make a move into the charts. Telegram, Sam, what a great song that is. Let's Stay Together, Hold Your Head Up, Argent, love that. Horse With No Name, great stuff. There's some really good songs there. And there's the albums from the British charts. The NME charts were often different to the UK charts, but broadly the same. Interesting one at number 14, Led Zeppelin 4, new Led Zeppelin album. Couldn't really decide what to call that, obviously. But uh, there's the British albums and the British singles from 1972. And then underneath we've got the US singles and the US albums. If I just get a bit closer to the US singles, slightly different sort of makeup. Neil Young making it into it, for example. Carol King, Cher. And then over here to the albums. American Pipe number one, Harvest, music doing well. Fragile from uh, Yes, the new Led Zeppelin album. It's a really good mix of stuff in there. Some tremendous albums. What a year 72 was, clearly. And then over here, Curved Air touring, The Doors coming to England, Joe Cocker touring, as was Nilsson, big ELO tour, Chuck Berry though had cancelled his March tour of, uh, of Britain. And then over the page, Mark Clark quitting Uriah Heep, you'll be sad to hear, and uh, Lennon dates with Harrison. Uh, I don't know if that ever happened. I don't think it did, did it? Uh, John Lennon and George Harrison may team up for a series of live concerts in the near future. Pretty sure that didn't happen. And then some up-and-coming dates. So we've got Chicken Shack, Touring, John Mayle, Sweet, uh, starting to tour, Jeff Beck and so on. And then on this side, Gallagher and Lyle, advert for some of their stuff. Um, on this side, feature of Isaac Hayes, Stephen Stills feature on the other, and an advert for Holly's Greatest, Volume 2. Is that even possible? Anyway. The Incredible String Band, continuation of Stephen Stills. And then over this side, just a few reviews of some of the latest stuff that was coming out at the time. Gypsy by Uriah Heep. That's not a bad single, blimey. Uh, an advert for Manassas, Stephen Stills, which is pretty good. Jethro Tull, there's Ian Anderson on one leg, as ever. And a fantastic picture of Mark Bolan. Re-released song, Sweet Talking Guy by The Chiffons, love that. And Dana, she was lovely, wasn't she, Dana? Wasn't she lovely? Didn't she do something, that, was it the Eurovision Song, Co song Contest she did, possibly? Feature on Traffic, the Traffic Story, which is the double page spread. And then a pull-out guide to the best of the gigs. Always like these to see who's touring. Jethro Toll obviously were touring. Um, you can get a free night at the Marquee on the NME if you take that token with you. And then there's the ELO on tour, doing a pretty big tour with their, is that their debut album? Not a massive ELO fan. Thin Lizzy. Wow, look at that picture of, uh, of the band there. Eric Bell, Brian Downey. What a tash. Look at the hair on Phil Liner. Fantastic stuff.
and then more gig guides so much going on there don't know where to start but uh, some fantastic bands touring again wouldn't it be great to go back in time to see some of these thursday friday saturday sunday monday i mean how would you ever go to work amazing there's the folk diary radio guide and on this side more tour dates Head, hands and feet. I often see them on compilations. Don't own anything by them though. Roy Harper, Barkley James Harvest, Slade, Jeff Beck, Chicken Chat, Mungo Jerry, Brinsley Shorts, one of the uh, spelt wrong, one of the uh, earlier kind of pub rock bands, and then some diary dates for lots of things going on across. Hawkwind, Van de Graaff Generator, Sandy Denny. There's the marquee. And a feature on Randy Newman. And on this side, Gilbert O'Sullivan. And a nice little advert down there. The chart-bound single from Argent, Hold Your Head Up, which is one of my favourite tunes from 72, without a doubt. And then we've got a feature on a record shop in Greenwich Village in New York. Apparently famous, I've never heard of it, but I'm sure that meant a lot. Shirley Bassey. Little feature here on Joni Mitchell. Gilbert O'Sullivan. Elton John looking suitably stupid for a change. And then various things about what's going on in studios around the country. And then we're starting to get to these, uh, the wonderful clothes that were going on, all the loon pants which were Obviously the range, all the rage at that point, weren't they? Glasses, boots, more, loom pants. And then onto this side where we've got records for sale, fan clubs, personal instruments for sale, rehearsals, artists required, all the normal stuff that you get in these music papers. And then at the back, someone's attempted the crossword. And then some reviews of some of the tours. Jeff Beck down the bottom there. And so there you go. That's the New Musical Express from March 11th, 1972. Catch you all soon. Cheers.